Okay. Um, information that I receive now says, at the sound of the next buzzer, we'll start from group one. Now, each group are to present two costumes. So, when it's time for your group, all of you will come out. And then the two people that are presenting would come forward, introduce your group, and then explain the attire your group is presenting. Do you understand? All right. And basically, say, okay, you must say your group number. It's very important. You say, say your group number and say your, explain your costume. Group one. historical epoch down to this contemporary era irrespective of the way our traditional attire has been dwindling and um and um uh, uh, uh turning memorial we the group one have decided to come and represent our different cultures strengths and um, traditions you know whenever you see someone fully dressed like this in subtraction of a blind person, definitely you will know that it is traditionally inspired. <laughs> so without wasting much of our time, I would like to present the two people who are representing group one. But before that, I am Buciano, and I have Aneta with me. Um, we have um, Rosie and Juebi. Now, we have two different tribes in this particular group. That's the Igbos and someone from Bayasa. So one person is representing the Igbos, whereas the other is representing the Bayasa people. Now, let's have the first person who is representing the Igbo in the person of Anita. Cha cha kwa kwenu. Yeah. Cha 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 kwenu. Yeah. In my dialect, I'm actually from Abia State. Sorry, my name is Anita. I'm from Abia State, Ungwa to be precise. We greet like this. Ma azuo ndewam na wo kanka kamaragi dabiri. So that's how we greet in Ungwa language. So I'm actually dressed like a lolo in Igbo. This is Ishiago. The rapper I'm tying is Ishiago. And Ishiago stands for head of a lion, which means pride and stands for royalty too. And as a law law, I am the wife of a chief. The blouse I'm wearing is a blouse for a law law or any married woman in Igbo land. And this bead I have here is called Ola. This is Olaka. It stands for um, it stands for pride and royalty. It also stands for authority. Once you have this bead on you, like you are authorized, like as a law law, a chief's wife. And my head, um, my headgear is called um, ish um, gele. In Igbo, it's called um, akuishi. It stands for like to cover anything like it's it's also like a pride of a woman in Igbo land. Thank you. Um, thank you, Aneta. And we have another wonderful lady. She is an epitome of beauty in the person of um Juebi, representing the good people of Bayasa. Ah is is that come from and come here meow? In the area with Juliet Sobla, and I'm from Bayelsa State, Kolokmo Pokma to be precise. I just said, I just greeted everybody in my local language, and I just said my name. My name is Juliet Sobla from Kolokmo Pokma. This attire I'm wearing represents a lady going for 
an event, any event at all. It can be traditional marriage, it can be wedding ceremonies, it can be anything. Now, the head girl on my head is called Tibi Balaye. This bead I'm wearing is called Ila. It represents royalty. The blouse I'm wearing is called Bute. The wrapper I'm tying is called George. 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 And the shoes on my legs are called Agbaka. This full dressing represents a fully married woman going for an activity, fully dressed on a traditional attire. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Group two. Group two. My name is Sonita Fred Shiamaka. We are representing group two. One is representing Igbo, and the other is representing Urobo. Here we have Queenet, we have Sonita, we have Nino, and we have Nelson. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Ogene Karu Peters. I am from Urobo. We get it to be precise. And um, what I'm wearing is the attire of a woman going for a traditional marriage. And this is called Mma uh, Mma. That's the rapper. And it's also called the George. The way this is Ewubenu. That's the blouse. Then my uh, head gear simplifies um, that in Urobo we have what they call Urobo or Volvo, that's Urobo we are what. So this is the canopy that covers the whole people of the Urobo land. Mm. And the beads in my hand simplifies authority, the ones on my neck, um, authority also, and pride, the pride of a woman. If you're going for a traditional marriage, start wearing the beads on your neck, that means you've lost your pride. And the earring is the beauty of a woman. Thank you. Oh. This beautiful attire I'm wearing represents the princess of Igbo land. The bead on my head, it is called Akisi. It represents royalty. The beads on my neck, which differentiates me from other maidens in the land, it is called Akolu. The beads on my hand, which represents that I am a princess. It is called Olaaka. The bead on my waist, it is called Jigida. It, it represents purity. The beads on my leg, it is called Olaaka. It represents that I am still a virgin. This beautiful attire I'm wearing, it is called George in the Igbo land. And it is a, a very expensive attire that is worn by just royalty. When you see a maiden with this beautiful dress and this beautiful attire, it shows that she's royalty and it represents riches. This drawing in my body, it is called Njirimara Adigbo. It represents the beauty of a woman. Altogether, this beautiful attire I'm wearing is used to cover the beauty and the pride of a woman. I am the princess of Igbo land. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good day, passengers. My name is Peter Ejoze. I have Poco and Pretty with me. And we represent Group 3. I and Poco would be presenting our costumes. Poco. Hey. My 
name is Iweza Godwin Gift, and I'm dressed as an Ikwe princess. My, the crown on my head signifies royalty, and it shows that I'm a princess and a prospective queen. The hostel on my hand is the ceremonial staff of office as an Ikwe princess. The neck bead and the hand bead is made up of special, a very special stone, and then it's a sign and a symbol. Okay. And the judge, the wine judge, is the color of royalty and it's a sign of alcohol. Thank you. Captain, Mudobale from you. I want to meet Monkey Yo. My name is Edoze Peter Chigozi. I'm from Anambra State. I'm from Inokwa in the Middle East local government of Anambra State. I represent Group 3. But today, I am presented, presenting to you the traditional attire of an affluent Yoruba chief. The white on my Agbada signifies royalty. The cap on my head is a sign that I am a Yoruba chief, an Ore Onokonkofo, and the member of the prestigious Ogoni Kingdom. The white bead is also a sign of royalty, but the red beads, unlike that of others, is a sign of affluence, showing that I am very, very rich. Thank you very much. Bani Bani, Obala, Obala, Arabini, Shole Lagi, Opa, Cotinja, get down on Luda. A crowd lay our passengers, or who come in Chinaza, and I am representing Group Four. With me, I have Benny, Martins, and Kanto. We'll be showing you two tribes that's the Yoruba and the Igbo, the Igbo warrior and our evil maid. Yeah, let's go down. Emma Tori me, Emma Tori me, Eja Jakuo. Emma Tori me, Emma Tori me, Eja Jakuo. Oh, you get the use, get the let, Eja Omas go for me. Oh, you get the use, get the let, Eja Omas go for me. Oh, you get the use, get the let, Captain <laughs> I will be your bar, you do you know my war. Because you must better your own when you feel that. It's called cap, feel that. I want you to do your own more, you know, but no man can see. Because you must win your bada, but no man can see. Who will join your bar? I'll be your bar. 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 For those who don't understand English, what I'm wearing, for those who don't understand Yoruba, what I'm wearing is filler. This is um, staff. staff, and this is Agbada. That's, it consists of um, trouser, shirt, and the kimono. And this is shoe. They call it bata. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 What that simply means, I'm challenging someone. Anyone that is strong enough to hit my hand is uh, daring me to embark on a wrestling challenge. So I challenge myself, my humble self. All right. 
Ahambo Martin Snubu Onyedikachi, our money must state, Obo local government to be precise. Yes. So right here now, I'm just dressing like the Igbo wrestler. Onyen Abamba Igbo. You understand? That's what they call it. Onyen Abamba. You understand? So starting the whole wrestling stuff is just like the procedures of uh, if you actually want to marry the princess in the Igbo land, sometimes you have to embark in a wrestling fight. Or if you actually want to win a lady's heart, or if you actually want to win a prize in an Igbo land, you have to embark in a wrestling fight. So you have to actually dress like this. This I'm wearing is called Ogodo. And that's the only thing you have to wear. You come barefooted, bare hands, and challenge the person that is ready to challenge you. You will win. 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 This is group five, and standing before you is my humble self, Christian Chukudu Charles, and I have with me Fat Friday and Small Peter to the world. Uh, we are group five, and we'll be presenting you with two tribes. Like I myself is representing the Cross River State, Calabar. Like we all know, Calabar is diverse in language and tribe, but I'll be presenting for the Calabar. Uh, my friend Fat will be presenting for the Igbos. Starting from me, my head is called Etam. Etam means calf. And as you all can see, it signifies royalty for the calf. Then this one, like just like a tie, is called a pong. The pong means it signifies peace, like um, um, how will I even put it? It signifies respect. Like you show that this person is, is a chief. So this from here it signifies respect. Then the white church, the white around me, it signifies peace. This one is for peace. And the wrapper here is a normal wax. But if you watch the way it's being tied, the way it's being tied, this is what is being used back in the days for fight, for wrestling. And whoever wear this is known as a strong person. So if it was the way it's being styled, it's being, it signifies strength and it signifies dignity by the way it's being tied. It's for strong people. You have to be strong in order to tie it, like in order to wear it. You must have won a lot of battles and everything. So in order to be a chief or uh, an obon, obon big skin, in order to be an obon, you must have to be strong. You must have to be a strong man. So this signifies strength. This signifies strength. And as for the shoe, all as you can see, this one is, is called um, Beka, Bembeka. Bembeka means um, shoes. And as for the shoes, it still signifies royalty. It goes with the cap. And there was, there's another one which is a jacket. I didn't come with that one. But if you look at the cap and the shoes, you see that it signifies royalty. Thank you very much. <laughs> My name is Emmanuel Friday Ogechuku. I'm from Ibia State and um, Ikwano Local Government to be precise. And I'm representing the Igbo tribe. If you look at me, I'm well dressed as uh, an Igbo chief, also called Ichie, who is ready for a ceremony in the Igwe's palace or who is going for an occasion. Now, what I'm wearing, and where this is called, my top is called Ichiago, which is only worn by the titled men in Igbo land. They're also called the Ichie in Igbo land. What, I'm, what I have on my hand is called Olaaka, and what I have on my neck is called Ololu. These jewelries are worn only by the titled men in Igbo land. What I have on my leg is called Okpaoko, it is called shoe in English. It is only worn when you are going for a ceremony to complement the dressing. What I have in my hand is called mbara. 
it is only held by the elderly men and by the Ichi for support and to complement the dressing. What I have on my head is called Ichi. It represents um, royalty and it represents respect in the Igbo land. It is only worn by the Ichi and the elderly men and the men that are in the Igwe, Igwe's council. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, we are representing Group C, and uh, uh, Abby is representing Karabari, and uh, Bobby is representing uh, the Igbo culture. Um, yeah. I am Ibioku Asimia Wasi Nicholas. I am representing the full Kalabari kingdom, one of the Amayanabo. Thank you. What I'm putting on on my head is called the cap. In my dialect, it's called Klalesu. It represents respect. In my hand, it's called Klale Pokoswaye. It represents royalty for the beads. In my hand, it's called Klale Mpara, the walking stick. It commands respect. On my, what I'm putting on, the white I'm putting on is called Etibo. It is only worn by the Amayanabo one of the Calabari Kingdom. And the rapper I'm tying is called George. Thank you very much. Here we are. Calabari Babote. All right. Uh, Bobby, I'll say the Igbo Osho. Check, 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 Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Captain. How are you? My name is Godwin Ikena Nadegwe. My friends call me Bobby on team. Today, I am representing the Igbo culture. I am from Imo State, Olu, to be precise. Mm -hmm. When you look at me from the head to the toe, you will see a complete titled Igbo man. Chief, to be precise. So, um, from my cap, this we call it, <coughs> we call it Oishi, uh, You call it Oundiiche. This only represents respect. Mm -hmm. It can only be won by a titled Igbo man. When you look at me, my outfit is called Ishago. It means the head of a lion. It simply represents the lion heart of an Igbo man. Then again, when you come up, you see me putting on this beat. This is called, this is called Olaolu. It represents royalty. This is also called Olaaka. The boat represents royalty. It can only be won by a titled Igbo man, a chief, to be precise. And then again, when you look at me, you will see um, Mbo. You call it Mpara or Mbo. This one represents respect, pride, for a complete Igbo man, a titled man. So you can see a complete chief a complete Igbo man, a titled man. Thank you, everyone. Hey. Oh, guys, I uh, you know. we so, represent Abana. Uh, <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. I'm going to talk to my. Abana, man. Ibo Kwanu, Rianu, Wanu, Who 
I represent Group 3. Me and my group members were here in place of yeah. MC Coca, Beke, and Kano. Oh, now, our group will be presenting two beautiful attires, one from the Urobu culture, led by MC Coca, and one from the Igbo culture, led by Asam Marama Beke. Chai, now you to do your thing, do your thing. Oh. <laughs> In respect of Urubu, please, before I start, I want you all to stand for the Urubu National Item. <laughs> <laughs> traditional marriage and this is how we go uh, firstly I am Patrick Johnny Ferraye from Kokori my hometown worry precisely and um, let me use my dialect to ship in everything and make you understand uh, Ubiaruna, Urobo Tota Bone, Urobo Bobo, O Mudia Yone, Urobo Nawan, O Ubiar Namuja Vio. So, what up, where I don't be on Will Will Nadiaro, what on Murobo? I walk by Will Nakomas India. What they know so, give me a poem with your Mamma Wamla Bugay. I don't want to say, 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 on y vient au roi, on donne 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 au roi, on you wouldn't know they are your What I know? I like I like I I like I I like I like I like I uh, in English, please, uh, this is art, the symbol, the umbrella covering Urobo that makes Urobo one unity. This is it. When you put it on, it makes you speak out the main man in you. And this is big. It shows honor, respect of the culture. This big stands for your respect. And if you see my right hand, you see the le right hand bead and the left hand be you show power power as i talk so i get power i say they talk like this now the video give me the power based on my attire now so and if you see him this rapper not be on the coco coco rapper now especially if you go say if you go market and now they carry the tie and small picky when just they cross today tomorrow they feel they carry the tie now man we are ready for marriage now they tie and so that you go blend and if you look at where i don't walk stick for the Urobo land, 
You know they carry the whole this thing. If you hold like my brother, sorry. If you never reach the main place to hold like you hold like sorry. If you hold like go speak out how you want to manage to use the attire. If you look me well, we don't mind the worker like this with dignity, pride. And now they carry the worker. Uh, to to land it all. Robo Wado! Hey. Robo Wado! Hey. Robo Wado! Hey. Mini Wado! Hey. Wado! Hey. Wado! Hey. Wado! Hey. Wado! Hey. 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 Well, <laughs> Good day, passengers. Good, Good day, Captain. My name is Ufoma Gift Jennifer, popularly known as BK. I'm from Imo State. And this gorgeous, lovely attire I'm putting on is normally worn by a princess in Igbo land that is prepared to, that is getting married. The beat on my head stands for royalty. The white staff in my hand signifies authority. And the beat on my leg is pop Alopa. it's called alupu and it's popularly known as sorry, it represents virgin. Because a princess must be a virgin before going into her husband's house. And the beat on my hand stands from Ola sorry, the beat in my hand is known as Olaka, which stands from which makes you a princess, or like it makes you stand out in your purse. Then the beat on my neck is called Olo, 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 and it's just a spice on this gorgeous attire I'm wearing. Thank you very much. Daluno. <laughs> Yeah. 